Hi everyone, and welcome to a new Dragon Quest adventure. We are starting DQ5 today. I'm going to overwrite my test save and jump into it. Let's see. So we are officially into the Dragon Quests I've never played before. So that's fun. I will do my best to not consult the walkthroughs, but probably gonna have to at some point. I don't know anything about this one um, other than it's still the same trilogy, so it is related to four in some way. And it shows the Zenithian castle on the starting screen. So, I understand your anxiety, your majesty. I truly do. But might I suggest that you take a seat and try to relax? <laughs> I suppose so. It's not a great name. Pan Pancraz. Yikes. He's not doing it. He can't do it. He can't sit. No sitting. Senor, King Pancras. Lord, it's a baby. A beautiful little baby. I'm not doing it. Oh my, bless the goddess. Congratulations, King Pancras. You have a beautiful baby boy, your majesty. Excellent. Darling. You did wonderfully, my dear. Just listen to him crying away, strong as an ox. A child with this much character deserves to, deserves to be named right away. Now let's see. I know, why don't we call him Madison? What a lovely name. It makes him sound so heroic and wise. I guess. I had another idea of my own, though. Is she just standing on the bed? Okay, no, she's looking over. All right. I was thinking it might might be nice to call him Monarch. Monarch? I'm not sure. But if that's the name you want, then that's the name he'll have. Custom sprite work. Dear son of ours, bestowed upon us by the grace of the benevolent goddess. From this day forth, you shall be known as Monarch. Oh, Pancras, you really are. Goodness, what is it? Are you alright, my dear? Just watching the audio bars for the crying. Hey, there's the castle I was mentioning. Ooh, that's fun. We did it. Oh, hey. Ah, huh, Monarch, you're awake. Huh? A dream, you say? Of, be of being in some kind of castle when you were a baby? Ha ha ha! Don't talk such nonsense, sleepyhead. Why don't you have a little stroll about and blow the cobwebs away? Uh, I'm gonna break all these barrels and look in these boxes, or these cupboards is what I'm gonna do. Yes, this is mine now, father. This is mine now, father. I'll be in here. You go off and enjoy yourself. So this is... This DS version was done by the same team that did the remakes for 4 and 7, I think. So they're all going to have the same like look and feel. Oh, he's on a boat. And we're going fast, and... The captain's cabin is in there. You mustn't just go wandering in and out as you please, do you hear? If you want to go to the galley or the sailor's quarters, take the stairs just there, and then go down the steps at the rear of the ship. That sounds like instructions I'm not going to listen to. 
What are you doing here? Not headed for the deluxe suite, I hope. I doubt Mr. Briscoletti would let you, would be best pleased if you were rummaging through his belongings while he was away. I'm gonna do it. You cannot stop me. Rummage, rummage, rummage. No interesting books. Is the door? No. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Yes. Back door. Yeah, make me turn the camera, huh? Kind of looks like a miniature Terry with this outfit. Aha! We didn't talk to this guy. What is it, laddie? If it's the captain you're after, he's in the cabin there. Okay. But have you seen these barrels? Ooh. A TNT ticket. That sounds like a minigame. Hello there, laddie. Feeling a bit peckish, are we? The food here is not bad, even if I do say so myself. I wonder who's the better cook, me or your pa? Okay, those aren't cupboards. When I think of Pancras raising a small boy like you without your mother around, he's more of a man than I am, that's for sure. So your father's traveling the world looking for something, eh? Well, I don't know what it is he's after, but I hope he manages to find it soon. Whoops. Oh, I love getting random texts from numbers I don't know that just say, Hello. Computer. Hello. Look at all of these treasure chests. Oh, boo. Boo. Who locks treasure chests? What's wrong with them? I hear that you and your father are traveling around together. Just the two of you. That's nice. I'm Captain Blythe, and I'm the master of this ship, so I am. Your father was a big help to me many a time in the past, you know. The ship actually belongs to a chap called Rodrigo Briscoletti. Doesn't often carry regular passengers. This is a special voyage laid on just for your father. Make sure you do what he says, won't you, boy? You'll grow up to be a great man if you do. Books? Nope. Books? The Monster Book of Jokes. What do you call a warthog? who's always out to get you. A thwart hog. <laughs> Unfortunately, Monarch can't read and doesn't get the joke. Gah! Hey, you didn't scream or nothing. Bit of an ard nut, aren't you? Okay. I guess that's everybody we talked to, right? There we go. We've made port, boys. Cast anchor, lower the sails. Yes, we get it. You built a camera that can can change and you've left me at a non straight angle. Looks like we've arrived. You couldn't Go down below and give your father a shout, could you, boy? Just ask me to go do it. Word it like that, all weird and such. So, we've docked at last. It must be two years now since we were last home at the village. You were so small when we left, Monarch. But I doubt you remember it very well at all. Right then, ready for the off? That's not how people talk. 
ready for the off. Make sure you haven't left anything behind, won't you, son? Okay, don't think I've left anything behind. We'll be disembarking in a minute, Monarch. Who's that waiting? Who's that there waiting to get on the ship, Captain? Ah, Mr. Briscoletti. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Oh, a lady. You're in my way, old man. He also appears to have Bulma in tow. In tow? Ah, travelers, I see. I must apologize for my daughter's behavior. And here's the maestro of the vessel. Good to see you again, Mr. Briscoletti. Judging by the look on your face, I'd say you've had an enjoyable trip. I'm going to have to fill that water. A smile shows a man is eating well. Now, allow me to introduce my daughters. Or should I say daughter? One of them has rudely gone ahead. Nera, come here to Papa. Oh, my poor Bambina. Is the step too high for you? Allow me to give you a hand, my dear. Thank you, sir. A traveler with manners. Good, good. Now, Nero, we've traveled further than a long piece of linguine. You must be exhausted. Be a good man and take Nero to my suite so she can get some rest, hmm? Right away, sir. My apologies for holding you up, sir. Please, terra firma awaits you. Okay, if it's being quiet right now, I can handle it. Are you sure you've got everything, Monarch? You've checked inside the drawers as well? I... yes. Then it looks like our voyage is at an end. Are you ready to disembark? Yes. Well, Captain, thanks again for everything, and have a safe onward journey. Shove. And they're off. Hey, it's Pancras, isn't it? I thought so. So you made it back safely, did you? Ha ha ha! I may starve and I may go thirsty, but nothing can finish off old Pancras. Now then, Monarch, I have some business to do with this gentleman, so why don't you run along and play? Oh, and while I think of it, I want you to have this. The Adventurer's Map. boop doo doo That's a very important map. An old friend of mine made it for me long ago. Make sure you take good care of it and don't lose it. And don't go off playing too far away. So can we... It crumples a little. Oh, when you're outside town, okay. I'm playing, wee, money. It must be two years now since that chap Pancras set off from here on his travels. He said he was going off in search of something important. Took his little boy with him, too. I wonder what became of them. No! You're the little boy? And Pancras just arrived back on that ship? You shouldn't go around spreading silly rumors, you know, boy. Alright, well, I'm just gonna rummage through your stuff. You don't even have any stuff, lady? Come on. No breakables? What is this? Boo. Okay, well.
Okay. Interesting. So we got an interior C. Hmm. All right. I'm beat up some slimes. I might die. <laughs> oh, Pankras is here. Okay. 71 damage. We're doing it. Now he's gonna yell at me. Are you alright, Monarch? Yay. It's too dangerous for you to wander off too far on your own. You must be more careful in the future. You made it. Hi. Hello. Now then, shall we get going? Oh, I'm sorry. Funky ferrets and jail cats. No, are those ferrets farting? Why? Um, so it is connected to four and six. Um, we are the son of a king. Uh, Pankraz was a king, but something happens and we woke up on a boat as a small child in his care and we just got dropped off um, at this uh, dock. All we know is that Pankraz, our dad, is looking for something, but we don't know what he was looking for, and we've been on that boat, or on that voyage, for two years. Level two, baby! Are you alright, Monarch? You really don't have to... Now then, shall we get going? Yeah. I got it, man. A village. So it's like Veronica from Eleven? Not really. I mean, we're not stuck as a child. Goodness me, if it isn't old Pancras, wherever have you been these past two years? Never mind that. It's good to see you back, and that's all that matters. Hmm. Uh, I don't think we've been turned into a child. We, because we started as the baby being born, and then it just time skips. Mustn't just stand here chatting away, though. I need to tell everyone the good news that you're back. Attention, everyone! Pancras has returned. There you are, Pancras. So you're still alive. My oh my, that can't be that little lad of yours, surely. Hasn't he grown? Anyway, why don't you pop in for a drink at my pub on one night, eh, Pancras? I'm sure the regulars would love to hear a few tales about your adventures. He just walks away. You're back, Pancras. Good to see you, mate. I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but I've been missing seeing you around. Come by when things have calmed down a bit and we'll settle old scores, eh? Just walk away. So it's true, you really are back, Pancras. Welcome home. The village was full of gossip about you while you were away, I can tell you. Ah, Mr. Pancras, sir, how wonderful it is to see you looking so well. Praise the goddess for delivering you home to us safe and sound. Glory be to the goddess. I beg your pardon? I seem to have rather gotten carried away. But you're home, you're home, Pancras is home, I'm so happy, H-A-P-P-Y, happy, almost said I. Senor, you have returned, it's so good to see you. I don't, I'm not doing, nope. I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Come, come inside, senor. Oh, little child. Welcome home, Mr. Pancras. And who might this girl be? That's my daughter. <laughs> it's 
Funny thing, I just got you some extra chapstick, chapstick today at Target while I was there. Figured, always needs it. Might as well get some extra. A, a blonde girl from two brunettes, huh? Hmm. Oh, nice. So I guess she likes it. Oh, yes, I know you. You're old Whitey's wife from the village, aren't you? We are killing it with the names this, this game. Yes, Mrs. Whitaker. She came from Roundback to get the medicine for Senor Whitaker, her husband. Grown-up talk is boring. Shall we go upstairs and play? Yes, please. Please. Come on. I'm Bianca. Do you remember me? Nope. I don't blame you. We were only tiny back then, after all. Yeah, because this is how children talk. I'm eight, which means I'm two years older than you are. Okay, maybe. I know. Why don't I read you a story? Hang on a minute. It's canonical that we don't know how to read, so, you know. Okay, here we are. Uh, one... Hmm... Oh! Oh! A pawn? No. Oh, this is too hard. How am I supposed to read something this difficult? Bianca, it's time we return to the inn, dear. Come in, Mum. Oh, the lady was saying... That was her daughter, not the butler guy. Helmet. These don't stack, really. Take the treasure, but tiptoe around those trap doors to touch the winning tile. So let's put this in the bag. These really should stack, game. Just saying. Anything back here? Family recipes. Monarch takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. It's full of notes on choosing ingredients, methods of seasoning, and tips for achieving the best results. But Monarch can't read any of them. I was about to be really upset if there was nothing down here. Well then, I'm going out for a little while. You stay here and make sure you behave, all right? You're starting to look just like your mother, Monarch. Mara, she was such a kind and beautiful senora. I, I... <laughs> all right. Burr, I'm f f f freezing. It's supposed to be s summer before long. I don't g get why it's so c c cold. Doesn't seem like it's that cold. I wonder what it could be that Pankraz is looking for. Why would he be why would he make such long and dangerous journeys? Welcome to the weapon shop. Oh, he's just gonna let me buy stuff, huh? So we get a bamboo poking stick for fifty. Jeez. A bunch of items I've never seen before in Dragon Quest. Alright, kid. You know, just hanging on to weapons and armor isn't enough. No, you have to equip them properly before you can use them, you see. So if you come across anything useful looking in a cave or whatever, make sure you don't forget to equip it, eh? Thanks, bud. A stone from Wheelbrook. 
Okay. It's just a bit of rock found in Wheelbrook, really. Huh. Wonder if maybe you can throw it as an item? Say hello to the kitty. Meow. Sounds like it. Long day. Are you working tomorrow? Did you take it off? My poor plants are really suffering here with this cold. I'm at my wits when at my wits end I am. Oh no. How did you get sunburned? Hey, where'd you get that stone, boy? Find it at the bottom of the well, did you? I went hunting about in the cave back in my younger days looking for some of them famous Wheelbrook blue stones. Ah yes, I remember poking about them big rocks hoping for a sign of some ore. It doesn't half take me back. Okay. On your arms? Well, at least you didn't reburn your neck. You were just a little baby when you and your father came here to live in Wheelbrook. I can hardly believe how the time's flown by. Okay, so that is the name of the town. Good. I often wonder what sort of life Pankras led before he came here to Wilbrook. Well, he was a king. He doesn't seem to wa want to talk about it much, but I'd wager he was no ordinary man. You mark my words. Oh, I'd rather just check your drawers and leave. You're Pankras' son, aren't you? It must be a good five years now since Pankras turned up here in Wilbrook. Dang. He's a real grafter, your father. Folk here took to him the moment he arrived. Look what we have here, my youngest customer yet, I'd say. This is the pub, laddie. You might be getting a little bit ahead of your years, don't you think? Maybe. Rummage. Oh. They really do. We live in the town west of here. It's called Roundbeck. Your dad used to bring you over to my house to play lots when you were little. That man I sent looking for herbs still ha ain't back yet. I wish I could send somebody after him to see if he's alright and everything. But your father seems so busy at the minute. And I doubt there's anyone else who'd be willing to go traipsing into the depths of the cave for me. I'd do it. Yeah, for the outfits. Uh, how do we get down there? There we go. This is Wheelbrook. If you head west from here, you run into the town of Roundbeck. Yes, I've gathered that information. Thank you. Excuse me, tree. This here's the cave entrance, you know, boy. Don't expect me to come in after you if you get yourself lost. I wasn't. You're a good child, aren't you, boy? Then make sure you don't get in the way of that father of yours. Rude. This is the church. If you go inside and confess, you can have them keep a log of your adventures for you. Hey, thanks. Game mechanic explainer. Oh, all right. I can't help but worry, you know. It's my old dad. He went off looking for herbs and hasn't come back. He probably went searching for them in the cave here. Wilbrook at it. I hope he's okay. I am recording, yes. Thank you. I hear your poor mother was taken away by the angels when you were still a little baby. Little baby. But you mustn't... Let that make you lose heart. You have such a wonderfully strong father there to support you, after all. I already talked to the cat. All living creature creatures are children of the goddess. Hmm. 
we couldn't have found 11 more gold so that I could buy that bamboo poking stick. Cat. I do intend to continue, thank you. Meow. Waddle, 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 waddle. Money, 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 money. Not money. Some boring but Oh, I get it. Uh, we might be in trouble. I'd like to kill that thing, thank you, before I heal. Thank you. This is new music. Good crit. Nice. Alright, so one more and we can go get that poking stick. Exactly. Sell the stone. Weird. Okay. Alright. So, oh, how did I end up up here? Hopefully that lets us maybe one-hit slimes. That would be useful. Burr babes. Burr babes. Previously, I've only ever seen that enemy in Dragon Warrior Monsters. So, nice to know that this is where they come from. It looks like there might be some kind of warning sign. But Monar le hasn't learned how to read yet. Can't stop me. Ooh, a shield. That's good. We're about half HP. Yeah, let's go ahead and use an herb. Ooh, the Drackey up high. Interesting. Gosh, Drackeys are cute. Alright. So we are getting MP, which means eventually we'll be able to learn spells. There's the stairs. I guess this is also the first time I've seen the um, the Go Fakeda in game too. Not today on the doorstep, no. Oh, we're in trouble. That guy needs to die. Thank you. There we go. But I did not check the mail. I'll check the mail tomorrow because I'm probably going to go uh, for a run before work.
Dang, we're one hitting these guys too? That's awesome. Okay, can't go that way. Ooh. Alright. At least they don't do much damage. Although, I haven't checked the front porch recently, and the dogs did bark at some stuff, so maybe. Hey, money. Yeah, we don't need the next level up of gear. Crunchy cave music. A bunicorn. Uh-oh. Her baby. A few, a few. Yikes, I'm such a such a fool. I got bored not being able to move and end up falling asleep. I was just walking along, minding my own business, when this huge rock came tumbling down on me, you see. I don't suppose it could trouble you to give it a shove, could I, boy? It won't take much to get me free. Ugh. Monarch investigates the large rock. It looks quite heavy, but it might just be possible to get it moving. Push the rock? Who wouldn't? Monarch puts all of his strength into pushing that rock. Nice work, boy. I'm lucky you came along. The name's Rockefeller, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Now I can get to that medicine, get that medicine to Mrs. Whitaker, like she asked. Oops, there's no time for idle chit chat. I better get back to start mixing these herbs. Ooh, traveler's clothes. Nice. Now we should be mostly immune to their damage. Let's see. Or take one. Hello. Friend, don't be mean to me. I'm not a bad slime. You know, I promise. I know, I'll let you in on something gooseful. When you're cruising around, you'll find there are a lot less monsters out in the open than there are in forests and up in mountains. Thanks, little slime friend. Oh, Drakkie are still hitting for more than one damage. That guy hit for three. Unacceptable. Making me use all my herbs. Herbs. That's not what I want. Oh, we're almost out of herbs. A hammerhood. That's pretty good. It's up this way. Oh, they actually have a little animation for defending. That's fun. All right. 
definitely no heal. Nice. So where was that guy? He was up here. My old man finally came back with those herbs he was after. He'll be getting to work on making the medicine now. I should think he'll probably have it done and dusted by morning. This dude's dad is a dwarf. Ooh, a handwoven cape? It's another new item. I cannot equip it. Must be for ladies. Okay. I guess we'll see if my dad came back. He didn't. I expect you are tired after such a long day, yeah? Yep. Then it's time you went to bed. Buenas noches, friend. No pots. Ah, you're awake, Monarch. Mrs. Whitaker has got the medicine she came for now, and so she and Bianca will be going home today. I'm a bit worried about them traveling on their own, though. I was thinking I might see them back to Roundback safely. Do you want to come along? Yes. Good, good. Let's be off then, shall we? Adios, Senor Pancras. No get into... Don't get into any trouble. You head to bed. You've earned it. Be up on YouTube tomorrow. Not leaving us already, are you, Pancras? That I can do. Yes, I will call. Just a short trip to Roundbeck, my man, that's all. Good night. I see. Well, have a safe journey. Alright, it is a short trip. Pancras, what a delight to see your face again. Er, likewise, my man. It's a big house. Oh, it's an inn. Is her husband Mario? Oof, Mario's seen better days. You're back, Mrs. Whitaker. Did you manage to get a hold of some medicine? Well, that's good news, isn't it? Mr. Whitaker will be right as rain in no time. She didn't say anything. Where is old Whitey, then? I'd like to pop my head around the door if that's okay. I'd keep your distance, laddie. I don't want you catching what I've got. I hope Mr. Whitaker is back on his feet soon. A picture book called The Four Great Furry Friends. Let me introduce four great furry friends. There's the clever Saber, kind Leo, sweet Mochi Cat, and brave Percy. None of them are the slightest bit alike. They're good at different things, and none of their favorite foods are the same. And yet, they're the very best of friends. They do argue from time to time, of course, but they always make up and play nicely together again. Clever Saber, Kind Leo, Sweet Mochi Cat, and Brave Percy. You'll never find four friends so great or so furry. The story strikes something of a chord with Monarch. How did he read that? My dad's ill, you know. Yeah, I... Yeah. You want to go for a walk? I'll go with you if you like. Sure. Oh, she is in the party. 
Okay. Bathtub. More seeds. Warp wing. Ooh. Terrace, number two? Yeah. I'm traveling the world collecting unusual tableware and the like. All right. I heard that Count Uptaten used to drink tea from something called a Toff's Tea Set. Made of silver, it was. All right. That's an item we'll be getting sometime during this playthrough. Long, long ago, a mighty count and a beautiful countess lived at Uptaten Towers. Uptaten Towers. But they were unable to have children, and their place was left deserted and empty after their deaths. And yet, night after night, sounds of crying can still be heard coming from within the castle walls. The end. What'd you reckon of that, son? Pretty scary stuff, huh? You know it. I'd steer well clear of up to ten towers if I was you. Okay, done here. Break, break. Okay. Welcome to the weapon shop. Spear, staff, knife, copper sword, thorn whip. Hey, I recognize that from number three. And a boomerang. Hey, I recognize that from number three. I think. I feel like you can get boomerangs in three. It's a lot livelier than little old Wilbrook, eh? You look a bit surprised. All right. Every time I press B, that's gonna happen. So prepare yourself, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna press B a lot. This here's Roundbeck. If you head north from here, you come a you come to up to ten towers. Okay. Oh, we should equip that shawl on Bianca. Silk apron, leather armor, leather dress, scale shield, hardwood helmet. We have no money. I mean, we could buy that, but. Okay, yeah, she just, at least she knows better than to, like, continue to say the same thing over and over. Oh, she's currently wearing that. Interesting. So then what's the point? So let's put this here. That there. That there. Pairing knife, huh? Why does she just have that? Children shouldn't carry knives. Actually. Hairband could be good. See, so much bee pressing. I would say that this town is equally as lively as Wheelbrook. They are the same. Actually, Wheelbrook feels bigger. That young rascal of mine has gone and got himself a cat. I keep telling him we can't possibly keep a cat here, but he won't listen. He's a worry sometimes, that boy. Right, but do you have any uh, pots or barrels for me to break? Oh, it's a saber cat. It's a pretty weird cat, isn't it? It purrs really funny. Go on, purr again, puss. Leave him alone, poor thing. Give him to me. You want him, do you? Okay, I'm bored of teasing him now. If you want him, you can have him. Ha! 
but only after you've gone and defeated the ghosts of up to ten towers. Yep, that's the deal. You defeat the ghosts, and then you get the cat. Okay. Grr. The door appears to be locked from the other side. Hello there, boy. Come for a booze with your girlfriend, have you? <laughs> She's not bad, neither. She'll be a right looker in a few years' time. She's eight, lady. I'm six. You chill out. Right, Nix? Jeez. Um, let's see. Do we... Is there an upgrade here? So the knife... Yeah, so we need to get her the knife. So let's go ahead and sell... That shawl. Or did I do that already? No, there it is. Okay. Um, might as well. Wow, plain clothes sell for a lot more in this game than they do in other games. It's true, I would be daft. Dog just sitting in a chair going... leave? I stand guard here all day and night, making sure that no monsters go coming into town. You're a spirited looking young thing, you are. Do you think... Don't you go thinking about wandering off outside town, do you hear? Oh. Okay. You've been... You've been a while, Monarch. The good news is that old Whitey is just some kind of cold or other. I suppose we'd better start thinking about making tracks for Wheelbrook. Oh. You can't possibly be thinking of leaving now, Pancras. You should stay one night here at the very least. Well, I suppose you've talked me into it. Oh good, let me show you to your room. After I spent all that money buying Bianca a knife. Here you go, Pancras. You have a good night's sleep, eh? We're locked in here. Right, well, we'd better be on our way early in the morning. Otherwise, the folk back in Wheelbrook will be wondering where we got to. You left for two years, man. We should make sure we get plenty of rest. Good night, Monarch. Bloop, he just, like, throws me in bed. I guess I am six. He just stands over me. Psst! Monarch, wake up! Hey, man. How did, uh... How did the run go? I looked over and it seemed like you were still making progress, so... I hope it doesn't mean you that you wiped. Right, this dog is making all the noises. Brought five to Brawley? Oh. Sad. How much how much was there from the the beach to Brawley? Like you said you had two back to back aqua fights. Yeah. Good, you're awake, Monarch. Come on, let's hurry. What do you mean where to? To up to ten towers, of course. Good. I'm glad it was fun. We have to get them ghosts the what f we have to give them ghosts the what for so we can save that poor cat from any more bullying. All we have to do is keep heading north, and we should come to the place eventually. Let's go. Back-to-back -back battle lost four there, and then the gym had five trainers. Man, five in, in run and bun is a lot. Jeez. And unlucky crits, that sucks. Do you think, like, do you think you could have done it 
if the crits had cooperated or were you like in rough shape to begin with there's just no music huh dead of night dear oh dear kids of your age shouldn't be out playing at this time of night doesn't do anything about it you've got quite the nerve coming into a pub being a young thing like you you remind me of when I was your age ha 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 Hmm, you can't beat a good old dose of juice in a nice looking cup. It makes all the difference. Not that you'd know that yet, huh? Juice, right. All right, Sonny, everything going okay, is it? Nice. Hip. Don't know why that came out like that, but there you go. What's that? Oh, do you think you could have made it through the the gym without the like if the crits had gone a different way? Oi, you monster, get out of town. So we gotta go north. Uh, well, north is mountains, so, so let's go this way. Oh, yeah. <gasps> A fat rat. Ouch. Got him. Oh, she's level one? Jeez. Oh, dang. Does... Is it a situation where you can get, like, an evolution or something if you break level cap by one? Like, I get that it's an advantage. I just... Is it a worthwhile advantage? Oh god, she's she took one hit. She's at half HP. Oh, it got fletched into a roost. Okay, yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah. Riven, stop. I'm so sick of listening to that. All right, let's find the towers. Jail cat. Got him. Dang, that was a lot of money. Uh. Door's rusty and won't budge an inch. All right. I'll be here in Spooky Town. All right, those were good. Ah, there's back entrance, okay. Door's rusty and won't budge an inch. The music in here is not great. Oh, well, that's awful. I just can't get over the fact that this is a six-year-old and an eight-year-old on this. Like, it's already stretching the belief. Wow! It doesn't... Um, can I have my friend back? Anyway. It's already hard to believe that Pokemon happens with 10-year-olds. So would that have happened if I hadn't opened the coffins?
Uh. Oops, he was looking at the back of it. That's silly goose. I cannot read. This is not going to help me. It says something about it being Monarch's grave. But Monarch can't read very well and isn't sure of the exact wording. It says something about being Bianca's grave. Arrgh. It sounds like there's a voice coming from the grave. Have a look inside? Yeah. Use all of his strength to push the grave open. Like in Zelda. Hi, friend. Phew, that was horrible. Couldn't you have gotten here any sooner? Thanks for helping me out, anyway. We better get a move on. Not phased at all. Okay. Lightning on the windows. Nice touch. This seems to be the back of a bookshelf. Hang on, lady. I gotta do stuff. A collection of love poems, but it's too difficult to read. The Countess looks kindly at Monarch and Bianca, and then closes her eyes. Playing Wild Frost? Oh yeah, I, I remember you mentioned that. I feel like I saw that come up on my, like, Steam feed as well, but I think I passed on it for now. I picked up um, a bunch of Devolver games that were on sale, but I got Grease, um, the Game of Thrones Reign, and some like boutique collection of like one-off scenarios. I forget. It's like Essays in Empathy or something like that. That looks interesting. And then I got uh, Cassette Beasts. She's gone. Ooh, okay. Right, but what's on the bookshelves? Nope, I really need to read that other book. Terrifying. Sad. Do the birds come back? No. Oh, that's even nice. That's a there's a lot of nice touches in this in these remakes. Uh I guess let's go downstairs. It's as dark as you like it. In here. Watch your walking, eh, Monarch? Okay, so we can't go through the door. But we can go downstairs. There's the king. Or the, the count. We can fall. And the Chancellor. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's not only ghosts, but spirits of the Dark World Nadiria, too. See, that's that's a tie-in to DQ4. This must mean that Grandmaster Nimzo is extending his grip on our world. I read all about him in a book once. Okay. That's it, huh? Uh, this place might suck, like, a lot. A picture hangs on the wall. Yeah, I really think there's a door behind that, but okay. Oh, there's monsters now. Wax murderers. That's pretty funny. Oh, they hit hard. Holy cow.
Okay, so she's a mage. Okay. Also, the first time I've seen that model outside of Dragon Quest Monsters. All right, so I'm gonna fall down again. And where does this go? I was supposed to be the chief of the castle guards, but I couldn't protect the count from those monsters. Sizzle, sizzle. If only somebody, anybody, could stop the Grand Master of Nadiria and bring peace back to our world. I think we got ourselves an objective. It's such a shame. The Count and Countess used to enjoy drinking tea from the most exquisite tea sets. Now that lovely silver pot and cups are probably lying somewhere forgotten. What a terrible waste. Those ghosts told us it was too boring watching us dance, so I suppose we're lucky in that respect. We should probably count our blessings, but it would be nice to be able to finally sleep in peace. Help, somebody make it stop. Ah, my legs, I can't make it stop. Uh... Bona Constrictors and the Farting Ferret. That's awful. It doesn't need to do that. Also, Skullpence. First time I've seen those outside of DQ. Uh, DQ Monsters. So we have 7 MP and heal costs 3. We might have to leave and come back. Jeez, at this rate. Wahaha! <laughs> the boss has found us a great place to rest our weary skulls. Dance, dance an eternal dance, and keep us entertained forevermore. I don't understand what's taking dinner so long. We'll have to go down and rattle some bones in the kitchen if it's much longer. Wahaha! <laughs> it won't be long before we're tucking in. Ugh, my stomach's empty. Your stomach does not exist. Huh? What's taking dinner so long? My mouth's dry as a bone here. Oh lord. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Wake up! Oh no. Okay. All right, I guess we have to kill the ferrets. Even though they don't do any damage. Okay. Okay, good, we dodged that. Good lord. Uh, okay, so we just... Alright, we just lost our money then. That sucks. I just don't know what you're can't do much there. There's too many of them, we didn't have any multi-hit options. Just gonna fill in the map. 
Bubble Slam. See, these guys are chumps. 21 gold is good. So there's a shrine all the way to the east. Okay. Okay. Four extra HP is good. Probably want to be like level five or so, or have better gear. Give me money. Okay, there's level five. Got one more heal in our MP banks, so that's good. I'm not sure how we heal that up, though. I hate the caterpillar. The combat, the combatter pillar. I, the ferrets are just awful. Please. Good lord. Yeah, being asleep sure is fun. Okay, so we'll get her... Yes, I know. We'll get her the apron, which will raise her defense up. the dog ringing the bells, but she's going to have to wait. Drackies. It's so weird there's no music. to let her out. Okay. Just constant. Alright. Give me one moment. Let me step out where there's some music. And I need to let my dog out. Sorry. Be right back. And back. She's just gonna have to wait once uh once she's ready. Cause I'll be up here. So what's the next thing we can buy? The hairband maybe? Watching my dog scratch her ear 
with her foot while yawning. Oh, he's not going to sell anything right now. Wah, help, help. Oh, you're not ghosts? You gave me quite a scare there. So the staff would increase our damage there. We really want the thorn whip, honestly. Because <sighs> that will really help with... Scared of them ghosts. It cannot be right to sell the seeds to Charmin. Fancy thinking we're ghosts. Charmin. All right. Press and B. So, I cannot heal. How am I supposed to heal? Here we are, home sweet home. I'm tired. Maybe we should give it a rest for tonight. We'll try again tomorrow, eh, Monarch? Oh, okay. Yeah, because we had the crap kicked out of us by farting ferrets. Ah, chew. Ah, chew. Ugh, my head hurts. Looks like I must have caught old Whitey's cold, of all things. Okay. I'm afraid it looks like your dad's gone and got caught my old man's cold. You'll have to both stay here until he feels better again. Oh, no. We're going again tonight, right? Maybe we should get some sleep. Yeah. Okay. So that's how we do that. Yep. Have the... They didn't even unlock the front door. They just got beaten up. I don't think there's any... Oh, maybe a, a shield for Bianca? Man, losing all of our money hurt really bad. Or half of our money, rather. Almost. Good. That's a lot of HP. Dazzle could be useful. Alright. So I'm assuming we cannot go in the front door. Yeah. Ugh, what a pain. Nothing else? Okay. Oh, there's the king. Okay. Or the, the count again. Ooh! I have been waiting a long time for someone to appear from there. Many years ago, there came to this castle the ghosts who now live here. My wife, Miss Count, and I are finding it impossible to rest in peace. How zings have changed. I still remember the days we could enjoy the afternoon tea while watching the flowers bloom. Please, I beg you, banish from this castle the ringleader of these ghosts. Then the rest will follow one by one. Okay. Wonderful. I'd hoped I could count on you. You are very... You are indeed very brave. This ringleader will be in the throne room, guarded by his evil minions, the dark, the spirits of the dark world. You came through the very dark floor on your way here, right? That is the room where the ringleader is lurking. Just take the stairs up after the door just there. Remember that. I'm counting on you. Take the stairs up, okay?
All right, so hopefully they don't come out and get us again. Good. Oh, well, I hate that. Stone the Crows, the living statue, shows its true colors. Okay. Okay, still okay. Dang, how much HP does this thing have? Oh my gosh. We've got one more Frizz? Heal me. Alright. Have a good evening, man. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Okay, so she revives at one. We need to get out of here so we can spend this money. Good lord. Oh, we can't. That sucks. We need to get somewhere where we can use this warp wing. Oh, here. Good, good, good. So that's a scale shield. Or leather armor. Leather armor is worth one more point. Man, I'm normally not one to buy armor ahead of... Alright, I'm going to stick to that. We'll buy a weapon. We just can't afford to lose that uh, money again. I mean, we have the means. We'll just grind up for the Thorn Whip. Game is not kidding around. And like, yes, could we have run from that thing? Yeah, but that was a lot of money. I guess we can burn the seeds too. Like, so what we have is strength and resilience. Okay. 
things. All right. Hopefully that helps. That's like a, kind of like a level up. So we need 150 more gold to be able to buy the whip. But we can't go into the castle. Ugh. Okay. Let's explore over here then. A dirty rat. Okay. It's a good amount of money. fine. Okay. Good. Okay. They hit through both of them. Okay. Let's see if we can kill the jail cat. Come on! Man, they don't want you going east. Oh, that's nice. I would just like to open my menu, please. God, we lost half our money. Well, jeez, what a waste. I didn't realize it was a wipe if the hero goes down. They were dazzled and they all chose to attack him and everyone hit. Annoying. Get yeah, level ups that way. Okay, we can heal poison. My dog is barking. This is all we can do now is we can't afford anything else. It doesn't go that much faster outside of battle, unfortunately. Okay, down. Is that an... Okay, so that is 
key item. Oh boy, 25 gold refund. Gigantic bathroom. Good evening to you. I am Miss Count of the Uptaton Towers. Ten years ago, the people of my castle were attacked by the monsters and killed. Why did such a thing happen, you ask? It is said that an evil being tries to take from the world all children with any status. But Count Uptaton and I are having no children. And I believe this angered the monsters and made them kill us all. Still, there is no use counting the cost of it over and over. What's done is done, but... You see, we would very much like to rest in peace. I am hoping you will be able to help us. Could you try to banish from this old derelict castle the ghosts that now live among us? If these ghosts are not gone, the people of the castle are fated to forever dance upon this cursed stage in limbo. I'm working on it, but your castle kind of sucks, lady. Oh, so we gotta go through here. Oh, but we can't. Okay. We need the ghosts to be gone so we can fall down to get those. Oh. Wait, there is still something I must tell you. You young people must be more patient before you go running off. There is no use going directly to the throne room now. It is too dark for you to see. You must go through the grand hall to the basement. In a jar in the kitchen, you will find a torch. With this, you will banish the darkness and bring the light. Easy as one, ha ha ha, two, ha ha ha, three. That's the way. I'll make sure the rusty door is open for you also. Good luck and stick together. There's safety in numbers, remember. Excuse me. Thank you. Can I... Thank you. Thank you. That definitely opened... Can I just fall off? Okay, he just says the same stuff. Will of the Whips... Night Whips. Okay. That's bad. God! <sighs> this feels like I'm not making any progress. Because we're not. losing half of your money over and over and over and over again. Really need something that hits multiple enemies and we don't have it. If we can get there without having to spend any MP or use our last herb, that would be nice. This one. Nice. Okay, well that's something at least. Okay, we're stuck here. 
Okay, so at least we got progress there. Go across. Go down. Oh, this one. What are you supposed to do? God. Can I open the front door? Nice, okay. That's progress. Welcome, do you wish to stay the night? Do we really, we were that close to being able to heal and stuff? Jeez. Ghosts! That was a good level up. I wish you a warm, pleasant sleep. Oh, you're awake now, are you? This castle is full of ghosts, I'll have you know. You must take care, little one. Ho, ho, ho. Interesting, okay. Oh. Okay, we got the silver teacup. Got some money, ah. Another seat of strength. I'm just gonna lose the money. Okay, but now we have a way out. Guess we also have the front door. I came here looking for some sizzling hot treasure. I haven't found it yet though. Boss is going to bring out a special ingredient he's been saving. Ugh, I think I'm going to be sick. I can't prepare a meal, prepare a meal like this. Okay. They have to die. Okay, we're at 200. Can't you see I'm busy? Go away. Torch? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Night whips. Okay, good. Two thirty. Kind of want to just grind it out now. Let's 
60. Seventeen. So are we? There's no way they could be possibly staying overnight. I don't think I've ever seen so much dust. I wonder how long it's been since this place had a good clean. Okay, nice. That's actually pretty good. And we got a level up. Also good. Seven more HP, yes. And we learned Kasap. Okay. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here. That's weird. The last thing I knew, we were staying at the inn inside the castle. So how did we end up outside? I don't like this one bit. That's fine. We're going to go buy you a whip, and it's going to make you amazing in combat. Maybe. Have some buffer to buy some medicinal herbs maybe all right Might be able to buy a hairband for her. Let's see. So the item shop is closed. That's kind of annoying. Oh, if we get one more gold, we can get a hardwood headgear for Hero. now yep so much better okay and she might be able to wear the, the leather helmet sure yes please Okay, so we're actually pretty much full. Let's save and we'll just, we have no need to reset the cycle. Oh, okay. Now she wants in, so I'm gonna go let her in real quick and we'll be right back. Again, I'll leave you all with music though. 
sure do. Not not ending this stream until we deal with these ghosts. Okay. Once again, back in 30 seconds or so. Ghosts. Ghosts and goblins. Now she's gonna drink it all. Oh, so much better. Look at that. Raven, chill out. Thank you. These things are the worst. Go away. Makes it so much better. So now we just go up through the main door. So we can go straight to the dark rooms. Actually, we can get these treasure chests. Maybe. Rivy, lay down. You're freaking out. Oh, I see this is a floor higher. Go up. It's really dark, we better use that torch. Oh, I have to actually use the torch. A beautiful pale light illuminates the surroundings. Blue, weird. That completes the Toff's tea set. Riven, don't lick your foot. Alright, well, that was not exactly what I was hoping would be in there. But we can use the other staircase here. We use this one. Excuse me. Please kill them, Bianca. Thank you. Thank you for the herb. I wish it didn't bother me so much that I have to listen to that dripping in the fountain. It drives me crazy. Dude, this guy looks like he sucks. Holy cow. Alright, so the herbs... Okay, and then we're just gonna use this monarch. All right, dude. Ha! You children are very brave for coming this far. Why don't I cook you a nice tasty dinner as a reward? Come with me. No! You're not afraid of me, are you? Surely you're not such scaredy cats if you made it this far. Why don't I cook you in a nice hit? Okay. Sure. Perhaps I should mention, you're the main ingredient. Whoa! Who could have seen this coming? We just die. Our little baby bones just broke. Oh no, I couldn't possibly. I can't make a meal out of two poor children. It's just not a recipe I'm comfortable with. Listen here, old man. Do you want your neck sliced off by the scythe of hell? 
No, then I suggest you start preparing this meal. Yikes. Seasoning. Mmm, smells good. I can hardly wait. Haul her up. Right away. But a little. Ah, oh, that looks tasty. We'll be chewing this one down to the bone. That's it? It's just some wax murderers? Drip, 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 drip. I'm listening to it all the time. Listening to it all the time. Might as well heal. Might as well heal. Yes, please, yes. Huh? Yep. It's super full of ghosts. I don't like it here. It's dark and creepy, and I reckon there are ghosts about, but we have to stick stick it out for the sake of the cat. I wish I could just ride the thing all the way up. Oh no, I can't go this way. But also, why was that built into the castle? That seems really unnecessary. Up. And around. And up. Use the torch. Push. Excuse me? Thank you. Excuse me, thank you. Okay. What are you doing here? I thought the skeletons would have made a meal of you by now. Well, if they can't stop... If they can't stop their dinner running away, then maybe I should tuck in instead. What? A haunted housekeeper. Yeah, this guy sucks hard. Jeez. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, heal her. At least all he does is attack. not much worse than his regular attack. There he is. Level 8. Oh. Oh right, because he died. Sizz. Sizz is good. Help! We'll leave the castle, I promise. If we all go, there won't be any more monsters coming, I'm sure. We were forced out of Nadiria, you see, so we were just looking for somewhere nice to live. Surely you can forgive that, right? Yeah, I guess, whatever. <laughs> well, that's a relief. You'll grow up to be a fine young man, I'm sure. See you later! Drip, drip, drip. I knew I could count on you. I cannot thank you enough. Yes, thank you so much. We were on tenter hooks, but now we are so relieved. We can rest at last. The other castle inhabitants are already sleeping peacefully. Are you ready to depart, my dear? Yes, my darling. Goodbye, we will never forget you. 
Well, that's good. Now the two of them can finally sleep peacefully together. Those ghosts who took over this place were a nasty bunch, eh? But it's the monsters who came along and killed all those poor innocent people who are the most to blame. Oh, what's that? What a pretty ball. I bet it's some kind of reward. We should take it with us. It looks like an egg, but okay. Bianca takes the glowing gold orb and hands it to Monarch. Oh man, are we like Dragon Quest 3 ing? Collecting gold collecting orbs now? Huh. So Sure enough. Interesting. Screw that statue. Nighttime castle music. Excuse me? Oh, weird. Too much. I guess we have plenty of these, we just use it. News of how Monarch and Bianca defeated the ghosts at Uptitan Towers quickly spread through the town that night. Then morning came. A promise is a promise, so hurry up and give us that cat. I don't know. Suppose we haven't much choice. Fine. You did what you said you'd do, after all. Take the stupid cat. Yay! That's good news, isn't it, Cat? No more bullying for you. Come on, let's get going. Okay. I know. We should give the puss a name. Hmm. What do you think of calling it Saber? Sure. Saber's alright by you, isn't it? Yep. Nice. Saber it is. Saber joins the party. Oh yeah, I suppose I should have mentioned that my mom's allergic to pets. That means you'll have to be the one who takes care of Saber. You don't mind, do you, Monarch? Come on, let's get going. Hey, thanks. Um, uh, attributes? Okay, is not a... Not a party member. You're a worry sometimes, Monarch, but at least you're safe. And my cold's all better now, too. We should be going back to Wheelbrook. Have you said all of your goodbyes? Yes. Now then, shall we get going? Thanks for everything, Whitey. Monarch. Looks like we probably won't be seeing each other for a while. Here, have this. Okay. I know, I'll tie it to Saber. Hopefully we'll have another adventure together, eh, Monarch? See you later. I'm keeping the thorn whip! By the way, Monarch, I have to tell you, I was quite impressed by how you took on those ghosts. But you're still just a young boy. You mustn't put yourself in such danger again, okay? Yes, Father. Right. Time to make a move. sha sha, -sha. Okay. Well... Daddy Dearest is here to protect us this time. I hate these ferrets. I'm so glad that I have never had to see them in any other Dragon Quest games. Oh, Saber showed up. Are you alright, Monarch? Thanks. Hey, Kraz, welcome home, sir. It's good to be back, my man. Oh, that guy wasn't there before. Interesting. Hola, senor. I'm so happy to see you. Como esta? How are you feeling now? Are you still a little unwell? What? 
It was just a cold? Ha ha ha, bravo, bravo. Ah, see. Si. While you've been away, senor, this letter, it came for you. Hmm. Well, friend, I expect you are tired after all this traveling, yes? Maybe you have a little siesta? And when we awoke, our father was gone. No? Okay. Good morning, monarch. Slept well, I trust. I have some things I need to look into, so I'll be staying in today. Make sure you don't go wandering out of town. Okay. That's what he said last time. No, but seriously, what are you do- Hello, that's an interesting looking gem you've got there. It's a gold orb, you say? May I have a closer look? No! Oh, go on. It's not like I'm planning on stealing it or anything. You can trust me, I promise. No! He's gonna steal my orb! Monarch hands over the gold orb. Wow, it's even prettier up close. Um, make sure you take good care of your father, okay? I swear, if that turns out to be what I think it is, I'm gonna be kind of mad at this game. <sighs> Alright, I guess that is gonna do it for tonight. Go ahead and save. We've got 300 monies, and uh, I guess we gotta figure out what we're doing after this. Okay. I do not, actually. Should have done a save state. Oh well, I hope it saves. Alright, let me end the recording. Bye bye.